Good morning, folks. We've got space weather, space news, an extended weather look at the end today with the Null School Map Run. But let's get started right now, as always, over at spaceweathernews.com. We're looking at the last 24 hours on our star, and there isn't any eruptive activity, but there is still reason to watch. Coming in behind the big corona hole is what appears to be heavy filament fields, then the bright sunspots, and even more filaments incoming behind those, some standing up as solar tornadoes. The sunspots remain inactive, as even while positive blue umbras pop up around the red negative, they are still spread a good deal and not primed for close quarters interaction. Solar wind, still very quiet, and actually we're running up on a cosmic ray health risk here. The last 24 hours, KP average is 0.5, so any more zeros, our app will probably send out the health warning. But let's dig deeper into this coronal hole situation. This one is facing Earth now. Its solar wind is expected later this week. There's been no major earthquakes in a week since the 7.3 in the Philippines. Well, now let's run back through because we've had a little mystery in the solar wind. Timestamp at the bottom shows you how far back we're going. We're going to come back to the day of that last big quake, when the last major coronal hole faced Earth. But alas, this one somehow missed us with its solar wind seemingly impossible, but it happened, and afterwards, we somehow see the expected earthquake uptick for the last few days also noticeably absent. That's not a coincidence. Coronal holes are the number one earthquake factor. End run of this current opening is swinging past today. It'd be pleasant to keep the reprieve from seismicity going here. We're moving on to two top physics stories. The first is a baffling expose of light behavior that seems to unveil a key principle in electromagnetic physics that has heretofore been entirely overlooked. Up next, Venus apparently is a massive gravity wave that formed and sustained over a mountainous region below. The wave propagated upward through the atmosphere and persisted over thousands of kilometers. Remember folks, all the planets are showing changes as the sun goes to sleep not just Earth. Quickly, folks, if you have the Disaster Prediction app, then you have a free app update available. There's a few new pages, new look, and Zoom capabilities. Folks, there are only a few tickets left for observing the frontier this April. The topics and speaker list is impressive, but folks, I can see who's coming, and there are some names on there from some pretty big organizations and agencies, what have you, might need some backup. We've got pressure and radar forecasts, an Earth.null school run, and shots of our star to close. It's 5 a.m. in the new Valley of the Sun. Eyes open, no fear. Be safe, everyone.